night in the town of North Hempstead, a packed public meeting. It's all over a decades old abortion law and the effort to get it off the books. News 12's Karen Pinto is in that meeting tonight. Joining us now with the latest, Karen. Doug, the meeting is still going on. A public hearing is underway with people from both sides saying how they feel about this. And certain town officials expect that this chapter of town code will be repealed. I'm here because I think it's important that we have as many choices as we can for women to take care of their bodies as they see fit. I'm here tonight to protect the unborn as well as the expectant mom because I feel that both are certainly in danger if the repeal of 41A should happen. 41A of the town code called pregnancy termination facilities prohibits abortions in all places except hospitals or hospital facilities. Planned Parenthoods would not be able to set up shop. 15 year old Anna Muska showed up tonight because she says this issue affects her and her peers directly. It means a lot. I mean, this is going to affect me directly in a few years, probably to affect where I go to college or what state I live in. So, yeah, it means a lot. Jim McHugh of New Hyde Park believes the local law should remain in place. This is a safety issue for the mother, okay? You know, I'm pro-life, but I'm pro-life for the mother and the child. Councilwoman for the town of North Hempstead, Veronica Lurvey, says in light of Roe versus Wade being overturned nationally, local laws are crucial, and she wants to amend the local law that was written more than 50 years ago. They're obsolete. They're 50 years old. Um, they're from a different era. She says she wants to make sure women's access to abortion care is not restricted. To the women of the town of North Hempstead, we stand with you. Now, the town supervisor is out of town tonight, but in a statement, she did say that she would support the repeal of this chapter. In the town of North Hempstead, Karen Pinto, News 12.